Hello and welcome to another edition of SEO Quick Hits and we're going to be walking today through the the page source code for a site and this seems like an intimidating process for a lot of people. I've had a lot of people tell me as I talk to them about SEO that you know getting into the code is kind of scary and uh, looking at uh, what's behind the wall is kind of frightening. Well it shouldn't be an intimidating process and today we're going to talk about how to go about doing that and how to look at just a few key factors um, that we frequently discuss in SEO. So hopefully we can tie all this together and it'll start to make sense. We're currently at Vanderbilt.edu and I happen to love this site because I went to Vanderbilt and I'm a huge Commodore fan. Um, but anyway, we're going to start here. We're in the Firefox browser and we'll move to the uh, Internet Explorer browser here momentarily. But start with, you go to view and we're talking about getting the page source code again and, and we're talking about what to do in Firefox view and then you go down to page source alright so we have the page source code in Firefox now let's go uh, let's pull up IE and see what uh, what it looks like in there Okay, so here we are with the uh, Internet Explorer browser. As you can tell, I don't use this very much. But uh, go to View and click on Source. And here we are. So uh, same thing. So if you're in IE, View, Source. If you're in Firefox, View, Page Source. Almost the exact same thing. So here we are. Um, we're back at the page source code, and I just pulled up the Firefox version. It's the exact same thing. But uh, let's just talk about a few key SEO issues and what some of these things are. Every single uh, site that you put together, every blog, everything that you put together uh, to be placed online needs to have this statement at the top here. This is something that you know I've seen a lot of people leave out, but it's very important. It's a doc type line. And what this essentially does is it communicates with the browser to let the browser know which form or which uh, basically addition of HTML uh, that uh, you're going to be using. Now, um, most of you, and in most cases, you're going to want to put use this transitional statement. And frankly, the best way to get stuff like this is to just look at somebody else's site look at their page source code and grab it because uh, you know go to a site that's highly trafficked go to uh, you know Amazon or go to Hulk, even you know walmart.com grab their page source um, doc type statement you're going to find that's true with a lot of things in uh, SEO and in coding in general you can uh, look at what others are doing and we're going to be talking that, about that in this series about patterning your uh, your SEO efforts after what other people are doing and find what find people that are doing well and just basically copy them so look at uh, this doc type line you're gonna need that and uh, every HTML or every um, every page that you're going to uh, place online is gonna have uh, your HTML is gonna be divided into a head section and a body section so the head section is represented by this tag here so head and inside of the head, you're always going to have your meta tags, your title tags. So you you heard about, of course, meta description tags, meta keyword tags, title tags. They're all going to be in this section. So here, you can go down to meta description. And the meta description tag is the one that's going to show up uh, most likely in Google if uh, if you actually have one in there. now. Sometimes Google is going to grab um, the first content characters on a page. More than likely, uh, what you put in the description tag is actually going to show up in the search range and the uh, search engine results pages or SERPs. Um, next, you have uh, this is where your meta keywords tag is. So, meta keywords used to have a whole lot of importance, but as you probably know, they don't carry as much weight as they used to. Uh, Vanderbilt in this one is probably overdoing it. You know, you probably only need six to eight keywords here. It's not that important anymore, but uh, you know, I would still do it. A lot of people don't do that anymore. Yeah, why not? Uh, the next one is your title tag, and the title tag is, of course, uh, what you see. I'm pulling up the browser for a second up here at the top of the page. So. Um, 
you want to take some time and do that. We're going to we cover that uh, at great length in other tutorials, but uh, you want to have a good title tag. It's very important. And also in the head section of the page source code, you find links to the style sheet. So um, basically, this is what you're seeing right here. So you're letting uh, the browser know, hey, this is where my CSS style sheet's coming from. And you know, you'll frequently find in uh, the meta tags, you'll find uh, perhaps uh, various pixels that the site's using, uh, maybe some type of ad rotator. Uh, you'll find some uh, tags that signify that, or maybe Google Analytics and other things. But uh, that's basically the uh, head section. And the body section, of course, is going to hold uh, the majority of your content. But basically, uh, the head section just uh, allows you to uh, provide the uh, basically the background information for the rest of the page. So, you know, get in the page source code, look at other sites, see what they're doing. Uh, you can actually even uh, go into a site if you just want to um, actually take their coding and look at it and study it. You can uh, take the page source code, copy it all, place it in a uh, front page or Dreamweaver and take a look at it like that too. It's very interesting to uh, see how coders code certain things, but mainly we're going to be focusing, on, focusing here on an SEO, uh, from an SEO perspective, what you need to do. So anyway, uh, thanks for checking out another edition of SEO Quick Hits and look forward to seeing you again very soon.